Hey, what's up everyone? It's your main DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment, Roxy Electronics and Repair, and MPC Kings. In today's video, we have the legendary MPC itself, the monster, the biggest MPC ever created, the first MPC ever created. It's only when you see one of these in person you realize how big or how huge this MPC really is. Um, but it's fantastic, the sound, is a, it has a unique sound of its own. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a compact flash drive in your MPC. Now, we're also going to be talking about the compact flash drive that I recommend on these older MPCs and uh, the ones that I personally use on all of my MPCs. Now, um, I'm going to take you step by step. Uh, for this, you're going to need um, a compact flash drive. Of course, I'm recommending uh, the Microtech. Uh, I'm going to leave a link uh, with the type of drive that you need. Not all the Microtech drive is going to work, especially on the MPC-60 Mac 1, the MPC-60 Mac 2, and the MPC-3000. You have to be specific on the drive that you use. Um, also, you're going to need a kit, which I'm going to leave a link where you can get the kit uh, the SCSI kit that you're going to need to install and do a job. Now I went ahead and take the floppy uh, uh, out of this. Um, so this is the first thing that you need to do. Uh, there's some screws to the bottom of the unit um, that holds a bracket that holds the floppy drive. You're definitely going to need to take those four screws from the bottom. It's right underneath your, flop, your floppy drive. You cannot go wrong. Um, so once you do that, there are some screws on the side, uh, right to the bottom. There's three screws to the bottom, um, three screws on this side, on the bottom. Um, and you don't need to worry about the other screws. Now, the beauty about this MPC is that it flips once you remove these screws, like the hood of the car. Look at that. Um, and you have access to every uh, board on this MPC. So just be careful when you're doing this process. Um, make sure that you get something to hold this down um, in the meantime while you're working on this MPC. So let's go ahead and begin with the process. Now on this particular MPC, I also changed the screen, which has um, an LCD screen, which is fantastic. Highly recommend changing the screen on these older MPCs. Um, so stay tuned, don't go nowhere. It's your man DJ Roxy. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a perfect time to hit that subscribe button for more interesting videos. All right, so let's begin with the process. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna recommend that you get, um, the drive that I recommend is this uh, Microtech drive. Um, it's called the PCD25BH. Uh, uh, Microtech drive which is um, it's a compact flash drive I have this on all my MPCs and I highly recommend this drive now there's other alternative but I cannot give you information on other alternative like SCSI to SD I'm not familiar with it so please if someone can help anybody with the comment because I cannot help you if you're talking about uh, uh, SD SCSI to SD sorry because um, I'm not familiar with that. I use all my MPCs. I use this drive um, um, better for me. I'm more secure that my, my stuff is safe in a better uh, better media. Now, um, this is a kit. It comes with this. Also comes with this. And this is for to install if you want to uh, have your external um, SCSI output. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove these two screws. Once you remove these two screws, we put this on the side, you wanna go ahead and open this out. And this is what's gonna be sitting on the card. When it comes to this, you better off hand tightening this stuff Do not tighten it too hard because you definitely don't want to break that PCB board. These parts are very rare to find right now. Our next step is going to be um, removing this cable from here. 
and installing this cable right inside of this. Just take your time. Do not rush it. I mean, I do this a hundred times. So I'm kind of familiar with the stuff I'm doing right now. When it comes to this too, do not tighten it too hard. Now what you want to do is insert this cable right on this PCB board. Now once you've done that, you can all just install this right here and take this cable and install it right here. And that's about it uh, for that. Now we're gonna take this and this is going to go right inside of this just look at the groove it's going to only go one way this is going to be installed for the external scusi and this is going to be installed on the internal so bear that in mind also something that's necessary is this this cable um, will uh, turn your power, your floppy power, into this bigger connection. Can't remember the name right now, but as you can see, it takes your floppy power size into your bigger connection. What we're gonna do is convert this into the bigger size for our flop, for our drive. Our next step is going to be installing these brackets on the drive itself. Now I'm going to remove the top um, of this drive because of this uh, connection will not go in there with this uh, top cover so we're gonna go ahead and remove this it's kind of hard sometimes so I just removed the top cover of, of this drive so I can fit this in here so this will go in there just like that as you can see that Alright, let's try to remove that so we can uh, install our brackets. Alright, next step would be uh, mounting our brackets into our drive. Now the way to do this is this is the front of the drive. Um, if you can see the L shape, hope you can see that just like that. We're gonna go ahead and uh, all right once you got your bracket bunted on the next step is just to put it in And if you're working on the edge of a table, what you can do is try to go under the table and put the screws underneath, find the holes. All right, once we got the screws and it's secure, we can worry about the two other screws later on. Now this, this could only go one way. 
and this is gonna go just like this. Next what you want to do is install the power into the drive. Now we're going to secure this with some tape just to make sure that this doesn't plug out. We're going to go ahead and get some tape. Just put this somewhere in there. Secure. Put the cables neat. Now we are halfway done, or more than halfway done. Our next step is going to be um, removing the external um, from the back. So we're going to close this down. Close this down and remove this. So we're gonna need a uh, pliers. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the old one. This is for your, your SCSI external, whether you want to install a SIP drive or external um, SCSI hard drive. We're gonna need these screws. Once we've done that, we can plug this board out. So we're no longer gonna need it. And try to screw this one in. So we're gonna go ahead and try to screw that one in. Get the screws that you pick off from the old one. down to tighten it. Once we come to this, so I'll tighten this up. And once we come to this process, all we want to do is make sure that all the connections are connected. Just double check that everything is connected. And we should be good to go when it comes to um, our installation on our compact flash drive on an MPC 60. Make sure all the cables are out of the way, nothing gets squeezed. Everything is neat, just like that. Make sure that this is in properly. The one cable right here. And we should be good to go. What we're gonna do now, before we even uh, screw this, the screws on the side, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Um, as you can see how it looks. They look fantastic. You have a drive right here. And this is good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out, make sure that everything is functional. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this bad boy on. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and format our disc. I take a minute, because it's need to search for the SCSI uh, interface. All right, once we do that, we can go into disc and to eight. Now we're gonna go ahead and format our disk. It says format, which is three, and format our disk. Next. And our disk format, 